Did you know that I'm a martial artist? Which means I can take you down to the ground with just my little finger. Here we go. Here I come. So this is a really common thing that, at least back in the day, we used to hear all the time. Uh, this guy was such a skilled martial artist. You see his advertisement in the back of a magazine or a comic book or whatever. He could take you down with just one finger. It's almost like a death touch thing. What the hell is a Dumac death touch thing? Uh, so we'll look at that because this concept applies to a whole lot of martial art in a productive way and in kind of, a, kind of a game show way, right? So it's a good parlor trick to show your friends. It's actually kind of clever. It teaches you a lot about the body, um, but it's also just good to remember some of this is a little ridiculous. So taking him down with just one finger, okay? If I use, if I use my whole hand right now and I push on his chest, I'm groping him. <laughs> That's it. It's the only thing I've accomplished, right? I, he's, he's not moving down. If anything, he's moving back a little bit, probably because he wants to get away from him. Now, if he leans forward this way, his weight has started to pitch in front of him like this, okay? So if I continue to make him move forward, especially if his base is stuck, he's going to fall like that. That's just because that's how gravity and our body works. <laughs> you can only lean, you're not Michael Jackson, yeah. right? You can only go so far into smooth criminal before you're on your face. Now the way you do this with the pinky is you make them go the other way. So again, if I'm here like this, nothing is happening. But if I make a point, to right at about the middle of his back, right where this starts to curve in. Put your finger here, put your other hand, you know, I just take a couple fingers, just stick it like that. Other hand, a couple fingers, I'm just gonna tilt him over my fingers, right? So that his body feels what it is I'm supposed to tilt over. Now that he's in this weird limbo position, again, tilted over this, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a weird position <laughs> to be in. I can take this and when I push to the ground, I'm pushing his weight that's over here. I'm not pushing into his base, I'm pushing behind it. So when we push straight down, he goes straight to the floor. That's just like you've, you've set something to lean over the ledge of it and then you just pat it over, right? If, if you put something behind me, you remember your friends, one of you yeah, behind yeah. the other person, yeah, you push them, yeah. right? You, you walk backwards, you trip over the, the piece of furniture or whatever. So it's that same idea. I'm putting his body in this position and then I'm accelerating it somehow. <laughs> now, a lot of martial arts will have this. So maybe he throws his jab, we come here, you see where they lift, step in, and go right down like that, right? <laughs> Sorry, that's hard one. Uh, so things like C-Lot, uh, Tai Chi, will utilize techniques like that. Um, other systems will go, he goes to the punch on this side. We come here, we inside arm drag, and see this come right back like that. So this is on the nose. Could be on the chin, could be on the eyebrow, could be grabbing the hair, could be the forearm smashing right through. Or if you're Steven Seagal, it could be like this, like that, and you hit him and then he falls on the floor. So the nature of these techniques where I can use one finger and bring you to the ground, you can do that, but that's how this works. Saying, oh, I can take you down with my pinky just becomes a fun thing to show your friends when they ask, well, show me something about martial art. And you tell them, here we go, here I come. Is that a good thing to do at a party, Tim? Hey, here I come. Yeah, I don't no? think so. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I don't get invited yeah. to parties. Um, we're going to do another one of these. Thanks for watching. If you like this, uh, please you know, like and subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, we'll see you for the next one.